super excited to see what today has in store. Um, I kind of wanted to follow up after yesterday and everything I had said. Um, but today has started out good so far and I've already got this beautiful flowers. So I'll check back in and let you know how the day goes at the end of the day. Bye. I am home from work and my day was amazing. Um, I guess yesterday, here's the thing. I feel like every day, I don't know what to expect. So I kind of go in with my guard up on if it's going to be a good day or are we gonna have some sort of problem during the day? And normally we have a problem. So today was a lot different. It was one of the first times, sorry, my phone is shaking right now. It was one of the first times that um, my little friend, <laughs> Taylin, stop. <laughs> hey everyone, excuse the hair. I just got out of the shower, but I felt like since the baby's asleep and everybody's doing their own thing at my house that I would come on and share with you guys a little bit about how my week has been since the last video update. Um, and I was a little emotional on that one. Anyways, um, I took Friday off. I think I videoed on Wednesday and I took Friday off just to compose myself and to get away from the chaos because I really needed to clear my mind. Um, I promised myself that I was not going to look at my email and of course that promise didn't last long. I looked at my email and I found out that not only am I going to have to be doing uh, teaching in person, but I'm also going to have to teach virtually now. Um, that kind of was a huge shock for me because um, for those of you who are only doing one, you know how hard it is just to do one. So for me, because one of my kids in my class was exposed to Corona, um, and now I have to do both. Um, I don't know, I'm just, I'm kind of stressing about it, but I'm trying to take it day by day. It's still the weekend. I still have time to kind of relax, let it all settle in. Um, there's another girl on my team that is also gonna have to do the same thing. So we figured that we would hook up and kind of um, do this together and hopefully it won't be as much stress as we're thinking it's going to be. But we don't have, um, I know some schools where they go, they go to school, one day and then the next day it's virtual no we are full on in class live um the kids are there and everything and then we had some virtual teachers who that's all they did was just virtual but there's no more classes that are open that are just virtual so that's why we are going to have to teach those kiddos that were in our class now virtually and the kids that are in our class um the way we've been teaching them just live so it it's stressful like I'm literally I've had four days off well I'm gonna have four days off counting tomorrow but I cannot get this out of my head like how am I gonna do this I'm the type of person who wants to give a hundred percent of myself and when I know I can't give a hundred percent of myself it's hard for me to accept so Right now I'm going through that whole, what can I do because I'm going to have to accept this. There's just no way I can do 100% of myself both without there being some part of my life disrupted, like my family life. Um, I just won't have time for them if I go 100% both ways. I need to figure this out and I need to figure it out quick. But... Um, it sounds like, I know to you guys, it probably sounds like, oh my gosh, like stuff keeps happening. Don't get me wrong. And this is what my husband doesn't understand. I love teaching, but with COVID and the situation that I'm going through right now with the child in my class, it's just too much. It's too much. Um, it doesn't feel like the payout is worth it for me. Like I'm very, very emotional. I'm exhausted. 
um, when in reality, normally I'm excited and happy and ready to do all this stuff with my students at my school, but I'm just wore out and it's barely October. So I need to figure it out quick, what I'm going to do in order to fix this and patch it up and make it better. Um, but I know in time, ugh, I'm not crying. My eyes just watering. Excuse me. I know it'll all get better. It's just going to take time because it always does. It's just trudging through the yuckiness right now. So I don't know. We'll see. It's Sunday right now. See how I spend the rest of my day. I do need to go on and put some grades in and everything. Um, so I'll probably do that, but not until after I make cookies with my little one. Today is the day that I begin teaching in class and also virtually. I will catch up with you later on and let you know how it goes. Wish me luck. So school's over and just kind of hanging out in my backyard before I decide to do some more work because work never ends. Um, today, how did today go? Well, for us to do virtual learning and also in-person learning takes a lot out of a person. I am completely exhausted and I feel like, um, I don't know, I just don't feel like I did that great of a job. It's like trying to do the job of <laughs> several people, but there's only one of me. So, I don't know. We had some technical problems. I My mic didn't work, so the kids couldn't hear me this morning. We only have to meet with them in the morning for our morning meeting so we can take attendance and then after that we meet with them for small groups but my mic wasn't working today so none of that happened I mean I saw them that's about it I could hear them but my mic wasn't working so I called technology and technology tells me well I can't help you unless you are in a Google meet well I wasn't in a Google meet and they said when's your next one gonna be and I tell them tomorrow well, I can't help you. Tomorrow, I'm not going to be here. So I said, what about Friday? They're like, okay, Friday. So that means tomorrow, I'm still not going to have a mic that works. But I still have to visually see the child. And I got to teach my class. And I got to somehow be able to speak with the child. So I'll be typing and teaching and videoing like I have no clue how I'm going to get all this done all I can do is laugh right now because it's such an utter chaos like situation and as far as my friend goes my little friend who likes to have his moments um, today he had a new aide with him Thank the Lord because this aid is more like me and what th this child needs is somebody to tell him, no, you're not allowed to rip those papers in my class. No, you're not allowed to call me dumb. That's disrespectful. But what he's been getting is more, oh honey, oh no, we don't do that. Um, when he needs something, someone more direct, and I'm a very direct person, and um, having raised a child with autism, I know that I have to get straight to the point, and that's kind of how I am with my students when behavior issues come up. Um, but being that he was getting mixed messages between me and the aide before, I think that's what was causing a lot of the problems. So my new aide is a lot like me, and she, uh, is very direct with him so he knows what he needs to do which is gonna be amazing like he listened he she said sit down do your work 
He tried to pull, no, I'm not going to. She told him it's not an option. And he did what she said. Like, it's just, that part of my day was really good because I felt like I got to be able to teach and that's what I want to do is to teach, not to be a behavioral specialist or anything like that. That's so not for me. I would never even think about doing something like that. I do not want to deal with behaviors all day. But to each their own, right? We will see how tomorrow goes and hopefully, even though my mic's not gonna work, maybe I can figure something out on my own since apparently I won't have help until Friday. I'm on Wednesday right now. Um, yeah, <laughs> trying to make it positive, but this is as positive as it gets. Um, this is the real life of a teacher who is doing both virtual and in-person teaching. The struggle is real, my friends. I'm telling you. I hope none of y'all have to do what I'm doing because it's not easy. <sighs> See you later.